Hello everyone, welcome back to Vergara's Adventure. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of prehistoric giants. Imagine a creature that roamed the earth during the last ice age, a true behemoth of the ancient world, the giant ground sloth. The giant ground sloth, scientifically known as Megatherium means giant beast, was a massive herbivorous mammal that lived from the Pliocene to the Pleistocene epoch, approximately 5.3 million to 11,000 years ago. Megatherium, largest of the ground sloths, an extinct group of mammals, belonging to a group containing sloths, anteaters, glyptodons, and armadillos that underwent a highly successful evolutionary radiation in South America in the Cenozoic era beginning 65.5 million years ago. Now, let's talk about the incredible physical characteristics of these ancient giants. With a towering height of up to 20 feet and weighing as much as 4 tons, the giant ground sloth was an imposing figure in the prehistoric landscape. The size of these animals approximated that of a modern elephant, and they were equipped with large claws and teeth. The latter were confined to the sides of the jaw, because the animal fed largely on the leaves of trees and bushes. For these animals, standing up on two limbs required some extra stability. Whenever a ground sloth did this, its muscular tail would act like another leg, helping to support its considerable body weight. These colossal creatures weren't limited to a specific region. Giant ground sloths were found across the Americas, from South America to North America, adapting to various environments such as forests, grasslands, and even icy tundras. Despite their enormous size, giant ground sloths were herbivores primarily feeding on vegetation. Their long, powerful claws were not just for show they were Essential for digging and reaching high branches, allowing them to access a diverse range of plant life. Sadly, the giant ground sloth, like many megafauna of the Pleistocene, faced extinction at the end of the last ice age. Various theories suggest that climate change, human hunting, or a combination of factors contributed to their decline. Thanks to the efforts of paleontologists, we've been able to uncover remarkable fossils of these ancient giants. From preserved skeletons to trackways, these discoveries provide invaluable insights into the lives of the giant ground sloths. Fun fact, one species of ground sloth is named after Thomas Jefferson. The future third president had a well-known interest in fossils. And a friend had sent him some bones that had been found in a cave in West Virginia. Jefferson first thought the bones belonged to a large lion and called it the Great Claw, or Megalonyx, according to the Thomas Jefferson Encyclopedia. In 1797, as he was preparing a paper on the find for the American Philosophical Society, he saw an engraving of a sloth skeleton and realized that his fossil was similar and that his classification was wrong. Later, Jefferson was credited with discovering the extinct sloth, which was named Megalonyx Jeffersoni. And there you have it, the incredible story of the giant ground sloth, a colossal creature that once roamed our planet. If you enjoyed learning about these ancient giants, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting content. Thanks for watching.